everyone and welcome. It is Karen here with you today. Today I am sharing with you another ScrapFX design team project. So I'm going to be working in my small dilutions journal and I have this super awesome collage paper here that has been designed by Claire. It's called Circles and Circles and I'm pretty much going to use the full sheet in my book. So I'm just going to glue it in with some matte gel medium. And just a bit over the top to smooth it all down make sure it's nice and flat and get that dry and then I've also got these super cool faces these are brand new from scrap effects this month so I've decided that I wanted to use this one here so instead of ripping out and around the page I've decided to cut it and because my background is quite bright I've decided to use a gesso wash on the back of it just to help um, make my face a bit whiter. So once I get that dry, I'll be able to glue it down onto my page. So it's just a very thin coat of gesso. So the, here I am with my matte medium, just pressing it down, putting a layer over the top. There we go. That looks pretty cool now I've decided because I've got the ripped edges all the way around my page um, it'd be cool if I did a black frame so I've got my black gesso here and I've just scribbled a little bit of an outline just with some paint pen um, just so that I can you know give myself a bit of an idea of where the paint's gonna go so that's what I'm doing there so I think that's gonna look really cool so I'll just tidy that up. That looks pretty cool. Um, I was going to use these butterfly transparencies, um, but I decided not to in the end. I've also got this super cool quote that says, art is anything you can get away with, um, which is one from Andy Warhol. So here you can see me cutting out the butterfly. Um, I was going to use it, but then I didn't. Anyway, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm just going to glue down my words and that's pretty cool like that. Okay, so once I've got my black border dry, I decided that I wanted to do some stamping on it. So I've got this new um, st stamp, foam stamp here, um, which is a new release as well. And I'm going to stamp some of that around onto my black border just with some white paint. And I think that looks really cool. Okay. Now, when I was um, putting my gel medium over the top of my face, I noticed that I kind of rubbed some of the black lines off. So um, I decided to grab out my black paint pen and just go over the lines. And that also just thickened them up and made them much bolder. So, yeah, it worked out pretty well. So you just need a steady hand, which my hand really wasn't that day, but that's okay. It turned out okay, so I'm pretty happy. Okay, so I've got my favourite little stencil out here, the little crossword one, and of course some gold paint. So I'm just going to stencil some of that onto my black border there as well. Just with a little sponge. That looks pretty cool. Clean up my stencil. And I've got a bit of leftover paint here. So I'm just going to use the end of my paintbrush just to create a few little dots around my page before I mop all that up. So I've got out some Life of Colour pens and Posca pens. Um, I decided to add a little bit of colour to my face. So I've got some bright pink lips, um, a blue eye and a big yellow circle. And I thought that looked really cool. The next thing I do is just a scribbly border around my lines. And I'm going to do a little bit of a semic writing around the outside of my girl. And it just says, art is anything you can get away with. That's all that it says. Clean up the daggy bits. And that's my page. So I really hope you have enjoyed my quick video today. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, please like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.